Hi all, Jigs here on behalf of Housatonic Software. First, I want to thank you for trying the Advanced Viewer, and second, I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to best use this app. This viewer is used to open up any .mpp file, no matter where it was created, whether it was created in Project Plan 365 or Microsoft Project. Using this viewer is just great for collaboration, as a viewer can be distributed widely to anyone on your project team. But the Advanced Viewer does more than just view. And that's what I want to show you. Let's assume someone has sent you a link to a project file. Downloading the file from Dropbox, for example, opens a file in the viewer. Here's what that looks like. But what if the plan is somewhere else, say on your local computer? Just go to the File Backstage and select from one of the options. Project files can be opened from many different places and Project Viewer remembers those places under Recent Projects on the right. For example, let's open up a file from Box. The first thing we have to do is enter in our credentials, find the file, and boom, there it is. Now that the plan is open for review, we can see we are in Gantt Chart View with all the task groupings expanded. Using the twisties, you can collapse any of the sections to best focus on a single set of tasks. Plans are always opened in read-only mode. If you need to edit the file, grab a copy of Project Plan 365. For now, no worries about messing up the data. Just double tap on any task to see its particulars. The task info applet is displayed with several tabs that you can use to explore. Things like percent complete, task durations, and resources assigned to each of the tasks. Of particular interest is the Notes tab, where notes from your project manager may have been left for you to review. Now on the right side of the screen is the actual Gantt chart itself, which shows how all the tasks progress over time. You can adjust the view to your liking by going to the Task ribbon and selecting Scroll To, or by using the Format ribbon and tapping on Time Scale. Here you can use the middle tier and the bottom tier to zoom in and out of your project, adjusting your time scale to the view that you want, all the while using scroll tool to line things up. Many other views are aligned on the left hand side of the screen for you to explore. For example, tap resource usage view to see how resources are used in the plan. Here all the tasks assigned to each resource is displayed, along with a timeline showing when that resource is used. You can adjust the left and the right hand side of the display by simply dragging the slider. Likewise, you can drag column widths around as well. One of the special features of this tool is that you can insert columns of data into almost any view. This is important because there's lots of data that's not shown by default. Go to the Format ribbon, select Insert Column, and then pick the type of data you'd like to display. In this case, I'd like to see the remaining work side by side with the work. So I'll add the remaining work column and then move it over next to the work column. Columns are dragged around just as they are in Excel. Now the work versus remaining work can easily be seen. For resource particulars, just like task particulars, just tap resource information from the resource ribbon, giving you all you need to know about a particular resource. There are many more features and functions of the viewer that I could show you, but let's save that for the advanced training. A link to that training is at the end of this video. So until next time, happy planning! <laughs>